guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a what's in my baby bag because you guys have been requesting this and I thought it was about time that I shared my new two under two what's in my baby bag because I did one of these, I think I did one of these a few years ago and I have since upgraded to a different bag and also keep different things in my bag for the two boys because before I just had Darcy obviously so I didn't need all the other bits whereas now I have a newborn and a toddler so I kind of need two different sets of things for them so without further ado let's get straight into it I've had this new bag for the past few weeks I upgraded from sort of like an over-the-shoulder wide bag to a more practical rucksack style I was on the hunt for a new sort of rucksack type of leather bag and I fell in love guys I fell in love with the Outback Asia rucksack it is a genuine leather and I reached out to them to see if they wanted to work on this video together and they did so I was very kindly gifted this regardless of this being a gifted product my opinion will of course be honest as per usual now this particular bag is called the Outback diaper bag and it is in the color 10 if I can get my words out there is a few different designs I was tossing up the black and then there was a really pale sort of tan nude color and they also have one that's sort of split colors so that the lids one color and then they've got the bottom half a different color but the tan was calling out to me you guys I absolutely freaking love it to death and as I said I was eyeing this off for months before um, before I reached out to them so one really cool design feature that you can have is it to be engraved. So at the back, you will notice <clears throat> it says Katie, which is super nice. I didn't actually expect them to send it out engraved, which is so nice of them to have done that. Let's start off with the exterior because obviously that makes the most sense. So there is a big flap at the front with two magnets either side. It's got a black lining on the inside. As you open it, you can tell that the zip is good quality as well because just the seamless way that it opens is just phenomenal. Now it does have the option to pop open even further. So as you'll see, the top of that is quite tight. I wouldn't say tight, but it's nice and kept together. But if you have got a lot of stuff in there, which on the odd occasion, I do put my water bottle and Darcy's water bottle and all of that sort of stuff. So I do need a little bit extra room. On the sides, they have these poppers. And then the zip actually goes down even further and actually can pop out too if you need it to. So starting on the very front, so we've lifted the lid and at the very front there is a wonderful little pocket here. It's actually not that little, it's very deep. I actually keep my personal things in there. So right now I've just got my wallet and I normally put my phone in there as well and my keys. And again, wonderful zip, very seamless and smooth. And then if we look on the sides, you've got two side pockets. On this one, we've got some tissues in the side. However, I would most likely keep my water bottle for access on this side if I haven't put it on the inside. Um, did I say on the inside twice? <laughs> I think I did. I would put it on the outside. Um, and then this side is just empty currently, but Elle and I would most likely put both of our bottles in there on an outing. Something else to note before we go diving in the inside, it comes with two straps for the pram and these strap handles are the best quality I've ever felt and I'm not even lying. Don't know exactly what the material is, it's almost like a really soft, thick canvas. I really can't describe it but it's so incredibly durable, like you can just tell that that's not going anywhere. And then it's got the beautiful metal hardware on the outside and you can just unclip that off if you don't want them so then it just leaves the bag like that something else which i just thought about too where i could store winnie's dummy is off the edge of that too because they have it like on the little lanyard thing so that's really helpful so here is the inside of the bag it's lined with the black all the way through there is a little black zip and inside there i just keep all of my little bits so i've got Let's pull it all out. That's all empty now. So in the little back zip, it's all of the stuff for me. So I've got some tampons, a 
got some paracetamol and I think that's all paracetamol, yeah. All paracetamol, codrol, um, like lozenges, and then some breast pads and of course a panty liner. So that's all my stuff. Then there's actually a really cool feature about this bag, which was the main thing that really attracted to me to this bag was the fact that there's actually a slip for a laptop. So if you have a look, pull it up closer, right here, there is that flap. In there can fit my MacBook. So I'm actually gonna be taking this bag with me to VidCon because I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. It can be used for a backpack and also a baby bag at the same time so that'll be super helpful and then obviously once the kids no longer need a diaper bag this can become my bag because it's genuine leather it will last that long at the moment when I don't use my laptop in the bag this is where I keep the nappies so I've got obviously bigger ones for Darcy which are the Aldi and then I've got the Huggies little ones for Winnie and one swim nappy just in case I forget when we go swimming. So if you have a look in there, it's super organized. And this is the thing I struggled with my last bag is things would just get so unorganized very quickly. Whereas this bag, I can see everything that I need and it's more deep than it is wide, which I prefer. So if I have a look in, if you have a look in here with me, there's lots of pockets that go all the way around the side. On the right hand side pocket, I just have the old, um, what's it called? Baby mat for changing the bottom. But you could also keep bottles in there if you formula feed. And then in the pocket down the front, there is the white wipes. Just again, easy to reach, has a spot. And in the same one, I keep the nappy bags so that I can just have somewhere to just pull one out of. So it kind of clasps the rest of them. Again, if you needed it for bottles, it's a great little bottle holder. <clears throat> I'll show you a proper shot of inside once I've emptied it all out. And then in the next pocket next to that, I keep all of like the liquids. So I've got Darcy's anti, um, Insect repellent, anti-insect repellent, insect repellent, not anti-insect repellent. <laughs> um, that one is the brand, we've covered it over, I don't know. Whichever one the purple brand is. <laughs> and then I've got the, um, again, we've covered over the brand, which is great. Um, whatnot, there we go, the whatnot sunscreen, all natural. This is for dust because he has really sensitive skin, gets allergic reactions to everything. Um, and then we've got some hand sanitizer, which actually I should probably keep in the back pocket, but I'm still kind of learning where I want things to go. But this is so far what I've been using for the past few weeks and it's been working really well. But that is the hand sanitizer for obviously after nappies. And then in the same pocket, I've got a little tub of Sudocrem. I definitely recommend you get those little free bags from either your hospital or the chemist when you have a baby because they always have these kind of size samples and they're fabulous for going in the baby bag rather than one of those big pseudocrim tubs. And then I also have a Lucas Pore Point ointment either for lips or for your skin or whatever it might be, rashes even, that sort of stuff. And then down the opposite side, what do I have in there? Oh, that's right, I've got all of my emergency makeup stuff slash hygiene. So I've got some roll-on deodorant. Cause I always find myself like running on the go and then I get in the car and I'm like, bugger, forgot to do that. Um, I've been trialing out the Maybelline Satin BB Cream. Um, that one is in the shade, ah, fair. <laughs> I also have some wake me up concealer because we all know I need to be woken up at times, <laughs> lol. And I've got some mascara, which I do not like, but it's kind of like the only one that's spare. So I just pop it in the bag. Then I've got some soft hand, sanit oh, hand sanitizer, hand moisturizing cream. This was actually gifted to me in a um, uh, little like hamper when I first had my baby and it's been a lifesaver. And now we get down to the center bit. 
So I always just keep snacks in there for Darcy. These are all obviously ones that are pre-packaged. If they're not pre-packaged, I'll just put a Tupperware container in the center. I also keep my secret stash of lollies because we all know that sometimes to get through a shopping day, we must give that. Well, I do anyway, you might not. Um, and then I've got my breastfeeding slip, which is the stretchy wrap that goes all the way around. Haven't loved this so far, but in saying that, Winnie is not yet at the age where he's kicking it off me, which is the stage that I found it would be of most help when I had Darcy. So we will soon see if this will be a lifesaver or not. I still carry it though, just in case I need it. And then I just keep Winnie's spare clothes and his hat right down the bottom. So this is a hat from Next. Really like this one because it's got the stretchy back. And I'm pretty sure the other one, it came in, a, came in a pack of two. I'm pretty sure the other one was reversible, whereas this one is not. Just his little pineapple outfit because we're getting close to summer now. We're now in spring in Australia. So that will be fab to have on the go. And then obviously a long onesie as well, just in case of a poo explosion. Oh, and lastly, a pair of socks because again, we're coming out of winter, so it's been good to have on the go. This is the inside of the bag. It's got the Outback tag there. That's where you obviously keep, keep the um, laptop. And then in the center, now this has been pulled a little bit because of the nappies obviously being in there, so they probably don't suggest that, but it's just what's practical for us. Then you've got the little stretchy bits here. And on the side, it's hard to see because obviously there's black insert. That's probably the best angle you're gonna get of it. Um, but yeah, it's just got the two pockets on the side and then the two pockets at the back and then the little blip black zipper there and as you can see it's so deep like yeah super deep as deep as a normal rucksack really and then looking at the handles it's actually really quite cool they've got it sitting in two gaps here so the straps will obviously go over your shoulders here can you you can pull it down like this and that's leaving minimal handle up the top to give you maximum length and then it's also got an adjustable strap there um, giving you maximum length to go on your back or alternatively the way that Elliot likes to use it if you pull it like that it pulls that straight up and then you can use this over your shoulder <laughs> As you guys can tell, super comfortable, so many variations. A big thank you to Outback Asia for working with me today and for gifting me this wonderful bag. I am very, very happy with it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Go tell me in the comments what's something that you have in your baby bag going from one to two babies, because I'd love some more recommendations of things that I should have. And of course, go and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. What does perfect even mean? Is there